every time I make a change to a twig file, I have to run this dwrcr for the change to get picked up and um, shot into Drupal. So we are going to make a change to one of the config files in Drupal to um, make it happen. So, or skip that step. This is the Drupal web sites directory. And we're looking for the development.services.yml file. We'll close that default just to make it clearer. Now, if we make this a huge and read the top, it says local development services, activate this feature, follow the instructions at the top of the example.settings.local.php file, which sits, sits next to this file. So we'll find it as it says, sitting next to it. I'm going to minimize this terminal. We are now looking at the example settings dot local file. Um, it's a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to read through. We are looking for what is it? Instructions for the development dot services. We just found it. Okay, enable local development services. It's already set up for us which means we have to enable the example.settings.local.php file. As you can see, the path, yeah, yes, is sitting in the sites directory as you would expect. Um, this Drupal root gets, is a constant, which gets replaced by uh, Drupal's web. Well, I guess that's it, but it'll be the full path on your file system. In our case, we're running in a container. Shortcut for this. So if we were to jump into the container, maybe, oh, it's small. <clears throat> I think, yeah, we're in the container, bar w, w slash HTML. Keep looking at the old camera. Um, and if we need to do an ls, there's our web directory with the sites. ls, there's development.services.yml. So this Drupal root would actually be this full var www html web sites. And then, oh, sorry. Well, not the sites, just the web. And then sites development services. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back up to the top and see if it has instructions for enabling it, which it does. To activate this feature, copy and rename it such that it's path plus file name. Wow, they really uh, go out of their way to try to nail that sentence. So it's telling us to uh, copy our example file and stick it in the default directory as settings.local.php. So we will right click on example.settings and we will paste it up. I clicked wrong one, we'll paste it into default. And we're going to remove the example period in front of it so it becomes settings.local.php. <coughs> and it's confirmed in the right directory. And there it is. We'll close the example so we don't start editing that instead. All right. Actually, that's all we have to do to enable this development.services.yml file. I highly recommend you uh, scan through this and do some Googling and playing around. Uh, but we're going to see if this works for us right now. Where's the term? We're going to have to touch the R to make it pick up all those changes. And we will go to the development.services.yml. We need some twig directives in here, which we can find in the default.services.yml file. There it is actually from the top though. And let me minimize this again. From the top, there's a, we're in the parameters key. Uh, we can minimize this session, which you can see is long and has six keys it told us. 
PH, PHP Storm is great for this. I'm sure um, other editors are, editors are too. Um, twig.config, this is it. Twig debugging. When debugging is enabled, the markup of each Twig template is supported by HTML comments that contain theming information. We did that. So we enabled Twig debugging somewhere else, um, quick and dirty style somewhere, probably in the services.yml. And yep, so I'm going to actually revert these changes, turn these off because we don't want to, you don't want to be uh, editing these global files. It'll end up in a production environment somewhere or in another environment. Auto reload back to null. I'm just copying the defaults from the line above. Default false, default null, uh, cache true. I don't think we touched anything down here. Okay, I'll save that. I just saved the services.yml. So I turned off Twig debugging. Now I'm going to turn it back on in our development.services.yml. We need the debug false um, in the Twig config in parameters. So we can split right. So it's here. We're in parameters up here. We'll add a twig config after this, <laughs> after the, uh, whatever this parameter is. Uh, we're going to take debug false and change false to true. I could have typed that. Um, I will type the next one, which is down here, the auto reload. Auto reload, as you can see, automatically recompile twig templates whenever source code changes. Um, auto reload. And if we save that, we should be good to go after we do a final, uh, not final, but another brush CR. We're in the container, so we're running it directly rather than I don't have to prepend it with a ddev command like I've been doing. Right. This terminal is not cooperating. Exit. Exit. But it did it, it just didn't show us. I think it's because I've been doing resolution changes. I'm just going to do it again for safe measure. <clears throat> we will restore this window and look at our uh, droops site we'll do a refresh or a reload just just for fun make sure we got the absolute latest in the browser we'll pick this back up i mean restore it back up whatever uh but let's make a change and see if we can skip this trash cr step so i'm gonna close these files Get back to the blue um, border around Bezos over there on the left. Then we will change it to green. And then go reload. Doesn't look green to me. They see bone. We're going to try to debug this control plus don't need that shift. Like I said earlier, we have no debugging. The steam suggestions are all off. So we missed something. Um, I forgot we're in a DDEV environment. So it may have, we may have screwed something up. If you were not in DDEV, you might be good to go, but I doubt it. I probably did something else. Um, it was already picking up the local. Nope, it wasn't because it didn't exist. Uh, 
So was it not picking up? Did I make a mistake in the keys? Tweak config parameters, tweak config debug through auto reload. Let's go to settings.php. I'll make it huge again. Come on. It won't minimize, so we'll just leave it. We are looking for local. This file doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Way, way at the bottom of settings.php, I did not activate the settings.local.php file. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take this down. I'm going to keep looking at it. We will enable the settings.local.php file at the bottom of settings.php. So if a file exists at root, which is different from that Drupal root, I mean, I don't know why they, uh, it's, it's, I don't know why it's different, um, but you can counter this kind of thing a lot. I'm guessing it's because we are in a different environment in this file. Um, so sometimes it's a struggle to figure things out. So we'll leave the defaults alone and let it try to pick up our settings that look at PHP. We will do a Josh CR again. And in the groups website, we'll see if it picks up that. Oh, well, it's obviously going to pick it up. So in here, we're going to change it back to a different color. There was an error there. We'll look at that later. That's something to do with my broken twig installation. Um, not this file. We want the twig file again. So from green to yellow. Green, yellow, yellow, green. Cool. Lots of colors. We will we will forego the Drush CR and we will reload. And hopefully it's yellow. No, still no theme suggestions. Actually, I noticed. Back to settings. Uh, this I should have practiced maybe, but what else? Settings of PHP up here. It is picking up the DDEV. Include their settings. Settings at local PHP. We're going to check with maybe DB, which is a debugging command to dump. Um, we're just going to see if we are actually, if it's actually jumping into this if statement. We will have to clear the cache. And there's our foo bar. Perfect. I could have actually just um, did that in the settings at local, which we'll do now. But we, but you can see how we're we're into the process of debugging the top of this file. I'm just going to do another just to verify. It's going to say bar foo. Yeah, there it is. Get rid of that. So we're in settings at local .php, <clears throat> where it is claiming to pick up sites development.services.yaml. It's just adding to it. So how do you debug if it's picking up this? Maybe it's getting overwritten after, but this should all be at the end of the bootstrapping process of Drupal. So activates the feature following instructions. Up the example of the settings are local. Okay, we're just going to retrace our steps. Go back to this feature, copy and rename it to that uh, site's default settings.local.php. 
which when verified is being picked up. Uh, no. I'm going to Google, Google, uh, Drupal debug development dot services dot real. Someone's having the same issue up here. Hopefully it helps us out. This is usually a quick process. When was this filed? Close and duplicate. Oh, this is about including the twig debug by default in that file, which is would probably help with our struggle right now. The so proposed resolution for this. So um, to explain what's going on in this thread and what we stumbled upon is people have ob obviously been struggling with this in Drupal 10. Uh, with enabling this twig default debugging without overriding the default files like we did earlier or I did in another video. So somebody has proposed that the uh, development.services.yaml which looks like this will end up shipping with this <laughs> looking like this. So presumably this is nice. I mean, this is good, and we're going to copy it and pop it into our development services. I didn't realize it didn't contain, or I just didn't copy it all. Sorry. So I'm going to copy the entirety, copy it in its entirety, but not going to overwrite those instructions up there. And we're going to save. What did it, oh I see what we I did wrong. No, this should have worked. I think. Like I had it shortened to twig.config. I don't know if that sorry, it is shortened to twig.config. Yes. And I had it separate like this. I have no idea if that is the difference. Looking at services, maybe it is. And yes, looking at this, I guess maybe the um the default format change or the formatting of this file change i have no idea what's going on or why but i'm guessing now that it's not my inability to do this task and rather things have changed in drupal 10 maybe i hope so new files in there development.services.yml which i copied it is not yet did i copy it i'm going to do it again I think I just edited it to be proper. I didn't want to overwrite those comments. Comments are just comments, but it's a good idea to leave them in. Somebody took the time to write them. So we're going to stretch CR again. Woo, tang. Now, we drushed CR. Let's check out. Drupal, make sure it's still working. Which it is, and it's still complaining. We'll deal with that later. Come on. It was supposed to be up there. You can see it. Good job. Okay, we're gonna make a change in our twig file again. My system's struggling, sorry. That completed successfully. Scroll. Minimize that. We're back to yellow. Bezos is yellow. Oh, our theme suggestions are working. So we are in business, I believe. I'm gonna refresh this to get rid of that error. Or warning 
I mean, it is yellow. Okay. Now, let's try again. We'll make it running out of color ideas. Purple. No, no drush CR. We save the file as purple. PHP Storm is helpfully telling us it should be purple there. And we're going to refresh Bezos. Let's go Bezos. He's not purple. The good news is those are working again. I think I just skipped um, setting something. Caching the Twig template in the render API. Set to false to disable caching. So a re-render happens every time a template is updated. There we go. I just did, I didn't slow down. Hurry up. I mean, slow down and hurry up, or hurry up and slow down. That's it. Cash. False. Oh, man. It already said false. Debug true cash false. I'm at a loss. I don't want to do that. So let's look back at the, this. It said it was a duplicate. So down here, it should tell us where the original is. Maybe. Marking and W on this comment in default that services out. You need work. I think I, it's because I took it right from the top instead of the actual white patch. There's no patch. There's the patch. Nope, sorry, that was just the repo. Update development services. Uh, we're going to have to dig for it. And will it be... Auto reload true. Okay, this is the real suggestion that was branched up into a Git repo, and it is different. The auto reload true, I think. Close that. Close that. Development that services that YAML. Cache faults under that. We're going to try auto underscore reload through. We're going to have to press CR to get it to pick it up. We're going to go back here, verify Bezos is happy. And we're going to change him to Musk because I'm getting tired of looking at you, Bezos. Cool picture. Cool picture of you, Musky. All right. All right, Muskie. Help me out. No front page content has been created yet. It's got a border of a purple. I mean, a purple border. Uh, back to the region content. twig. This is going to be a new color that we're just going to use the color picker to try to pick one. How about blue. I like blue, I said. Back to blue. That, one. that blue. Okay. Did I save? Control S it. We're going to reload it. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. I was so confident there. <clears throat> now I'm beaten down. Beaten down, musky. I gotta think. I gotta put on my thinking cap. Let me look at this site again. 
want to just give up now and put in the other thing and move on. But back, back, back. Back more for me. Do some reading. I was hoping to avoid making you watch me read, but I can read aloud. I originally wanted to look for whatever the duplicate ticket was, the original. They say, I mean, a stash pitch quick. This is all nine months ago. Nine months ago. Close duplicate. Closing this as a duplicate of make debugging twig easier. Joel Pitet. Pitet. Problem motivation. Developers routinely enable settings for twig development by editing development and services.yaml. However, this is not convenient. It gets overwritten from poor scaffold files. Uh, add auto reload to development services. It's always useful in development. Create a new file. This is all about expanding and making this easier. So yeah, I think our time is better spent moving on and letting them work this shit out until it works. We're just gonna cowboy it again. What a waste of a video. Yeah, I don't think it's worth anyone's effort to dig through all that and have to do it. But normally that's the process you do. Um, well, no, that's always the process you do. It just doesn't always work out. And that's life. So we are going to shut down the... Oh, we don't have to... Uh... Okay, I'm going to have a look at the git. Uh, that should be, no, that's structure. This is not what I was looking for. I'm looking for um, version control. Local history. Okay, that's not the version control I wanted. Do you forget the uh, whole bunch of stuff in here that you don't want? It's going to get reset. See what happens. Nothing. Get reset. We're going to want to get ignore that stuff later, but um, yeah, I just cleaned the repo and got rid of any changes. A whole bunch of stuff that should be get ignored, which we'll deal with in a while. Oh, we have this on track file still, that's fine. Track settings.local.php. I'm going to get rid of the, this is turned into a cleanup video. So we're cleaning up the changes that I made to this to the uh, Drupal install. Thankfully, I made a git repo. And this is why it's important to do so. So we're going to rm web site default settings dot local dot php. Which we probably should just leave in. But like I said, we're just going to revert everything. So it's we're, we're good and safe. That's good. All right, next video, we'll uh, continue with developing. Oh, no, that's not it. We are going to make sure uh, we get back to this, not back to the state, because I was there. We're just going to overwrite services or default services.yml or do something that works. Default or debug true. Problem with doing this is when you update your Drupal install, it'll get overwritten and then you'll have to come 
like through again a couple times. Maybe it was the cat. It was supposed to say cash false. Did it say false? I don't know. I don't want to go back and check. And you can clear the cash. At this point, I don't know why it would be anyone would be still watching the next video. Um, unless you've been actually following along, so we'll keep going. Okay, we're almost done. Cleared the cache. Everything should be dead. Uh, jolly. Uh, region content. Make sure it still works. Change this to red. Theme suggestions are still working over there. It's not red. Wow, it's really broken. We're going to try the services that yellow in there, twig debugging. Debug true, auto reload true, cache false. I'm going to change every single file I find. Auto reload true, cache false. Debug true. Make sure I save it. Up arrow, enter, back to Drupal, reload that, did the file, fun stuff, huh? Fun, 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 uh, green again, done asking for your help, Musk, this doesn't work, it just doesn't work. That's the case. I'm going to ask somebody. All right. Well, we give up on that. We're just going to have to keep uh, brush the yarn. I'm going to double check everything. But I'll get back to you if I find anything. 